I be love it. Moon day blessings. How was you doing today? How was you feeling today? Okay. We have the sun in Aquarius. The moon in Aquarius. And uh, Saturn as well popping off in the sign of the alien. Okay. So we could be feeling out of this world. Okay. How are you feeling on this moon day? Are you feeling inspired, tired? Are you ready to take over? Uh, you took off work to prepare for it. Yes. Okay. Um, I miss you guys too. It's the day. It's a moon day. Um, the moon is in Aquarius. We having, depending on your time zone, it's going to be when the, the new moon is exact. It's at 12 degrees and this is a Pisces degree. Okay. So with it being at 12 degrees, a Pisces degree, we could be feeling like we want to isolate new moons, dark moons, times that you kind of want to just like hide away or be by yourself. Um, even if it's just an hour, okay, two hours, doing something to rejuvenate yourself, doing something that's dreamy, okay? You can be getting lots of very interesting themes coming through in your dreams. Your astral self could be doing a lot right now, okay? Um, my astral self is, is out here in these astral streets, okay? If you had a dream about me, let me know. Um, this is happening for us on the East Coast. I'm in New York. This is happening for us on February 1st, okay? And on February 2nd, 2 2 22, I'm going to be doing a cord cutting ritual. It's a distance Reiki session. It will be different than my other sessions. It's not alive. There is no sound bath. It is a distance Reiki session. I'm going to be doing the cord cutting, sending you guys the Reiki energy. And the next day, I'm going to be following up with messages in an email, okay, of uh, what came through. And I will also be showing you guys a time-lapse video of the candles and the cord cutting ritual, okay? Um, you guys are dreaming about exes. Okay, speaking of, Mercury still retrograde, but Venus went direct. Okay, I did a little bit of uh, stars and cards about it last week. I will not be doing the stars and cards this week, okay? Because um, I got a lot to do. Okay, your son's birthday is 2 22 Oh, that's beautiful. Congratulations. You're going to get it in divine time. My readings are not due until February 10th, so there's that. Um... Also, don't have the internet. Um, there was a huge snowstorm here over the weekend. I moved in a bomb cyclone. Um, you dreamt about your current partner treating you like ish? Uh-oh. Sometimes I'd be like, is this a prophetic dream? Like, is this what's going to happen? Is this trying to tell me something? Okay. But yeah, it was crazy here. Um, it was really crazy here on Saturday. Um, I didn't think, I had scheduled this move like a month ago and I didn't think it was gonna happen. And then the day of the freaking snowstorm, they're like, we're on our way. I was like, okay, this is gonna be great. Guys, let's get it. And they did it. And they did it. But there's still things that didn't get done like the Wi-Fi. Okay. <laughs> like the Wi-Fi. But let's go, let's tap in, let's see what spirit got to say. As soon as I get my Wi-Fi back, um, those readings that I had put out, they are due by February 10th. It will be, you will get them by February 10th. Okay, if you've been waiting for a reading, you will get it by February 10th. Um, for sure. So spirit got going upon the masters, teachers, love them, every single body. Watching the spirit, what do we need to know right now? What is the energy right now? What is it surfing? Okay, thank you so much for the clarity, the insight, the truth. Okay, so I'm seeing the third eye, I'm seeing a lot of purple energy, and I feel like because this new moon is happening at 12 degrees, a Pisces degree, we could be getting a lot of intuitive um messages okay from the divine from our spirit guys from our ancestors i feel like at this point we are our own guru okay we know what time it is we know what we need to do okay the only thing that we're getting from other people is confirmations the only thing that we're getting from the divine and our ancestors is confirmation it's going to be like i knew that and it's going to be like mirrored back to you in a way okay um 
could also be wanting to like light purple candles eat purple foods okay um it feels like a, a third eye cleansing as well people could also be wanting to focus on strengthening their intuitive trust your gut as your guide okay as well now this is how i feel when we have aquarius when we have aquarius energy this is fixed air okay this is fixed air Woo! i love this i love this i tweeted this last night i'm feeling 10 of cups af and we really got the 10 of cups okay and we got the four of pentacles okay the four of cups and the ten of pentacles he's blowing me up it's been a liter literally insanity okay then we have seven 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 of pentacles seven of wands seven seven okay this is that luck this is that faith this is that flow energy okay oh i feel like this is that energy of like waiting for something to be born, waiting for uh, water to boil. Someone is like waiting for something to come in. But I also feel like they're kind of holding on to something. This could be holding on to like resentment or to control or the way that you want something to be. Okay. And I feel like we're needing to surrender. There could also be people in your family or surrounding you that might want to, um, that might be feeling very defensive over something this could be over themselves or defensive of you um i feel like people could be on the same page fighting like they're on the same page but they're fighting a war because of miscommunication so make sure like if if you are speaking with someone and you feel like you guys are on the same team it could just be a communication barrier a communication issue okay um we have temperance, so slow down, have faith, have patience with them, okay? This is about moderation. This is Sagittarius type of energy here, okay? Um, this is learning, growing experiences, like moderation. This is like the energy of like maybe you've been cutting back on something, cutting back your time on social media, cutting back your, um, you know, it's like getting more stoic, okay? Getting more strict okay as well with that temperance energy having patience the queen of pentacles lots of pentacles this is that taurus virgo capricorn king of wands king of cups oh my goodness this is magical and the four of swords we got a lot of fours here we have four four and seven seven we could be seeing those numbers a lot we also have the nine of pentacles who i feel like is akin to the queen of pentacles okay um so let's get into it here if you haven't been taking your time to meditate to be still to have patience this week is really going to require that of you okay because we do have a lot of these like meditation type cards we have the four of swords the four of pentacles the temperance card okay i feel like to get a clearer vision to to get a clearer vision you need to take some time away take some time apart like some people are too close to something to really have a clear vision of it okay you kind of got to step back to get the full picture to get the entire picture of something and i feel like this energy of like an energizer bunny but your batteries are out like you don't have the same amount of energy anymore so you're needing to kind of call back your own energy this is a great week to do like protection work as well protecting yourself protecting your home your family your loved ones um, as well, I'm seeing people do abundance planning, scheduling, like where their money is going to go, how is it going to flow, um, what they're going to do with it, what how they're going to invest it, okay? I'm seeing someone going back to their roots as well. This could be like maybe cooking something or getting like family, a family recipe, okay, cooking something. Maybe this is your ancestors wanting a specific meal, okay, um, as well. This is like nurturing yourself in a new way. I feel like someone got something and they really want to protect it, okay? Uh, you really want to feel that protection. You really want to get confirmation of that protection. When we have the King of Wands here with the King of Cups, I feel like this is very inspired. Okay, people could be getting very inspired about like 
the long term but first you had to pause first you had to feel like you're tired or whatever to take that time out meditate get the rest get the divine downloads and then kind of going back with a vengeance here with this king of wands really focusing on the future king of cups in the reverse it could be like emotional emotional volatility okay <laughs> emotional volatility is what i'm seeing with that king with that okay so have have faith here okay in that divine timing in the in the flow and the unfolding because i feel like with this energy one of the challenges is going to be a lot of feelings and emotions not really knowing how to deal with them having to deal with them in moderation having to deal with them in a new way okay um finding new coping mechanisms this is the energy of not pouring from an empty cup because you have to protect reserve your energy this is the energy of not getting into a fight a tip or anything because you don't need to disturb your vibration your your own peace I feel like this is also someone going on some sort of fast or diet. This could be um, like a physical one, a spiritual one, okay, an emotional one. You could be fasting from someone who stirs up your emotions, stirs up your energy. You don't need to be around them. If it's you to you and if it's you versus you, you need to spend more time meditating or resting, sleeping, doing something that is going to call you back into your own spirit. If it's like you're being very hard on yourself or you're being very tough on yourself, okay, um, as well. Um, it's energy of pillows. People could be pillow shopping, getting more pillows, or needing pillows to feel more comfortable. Something about pillows here. Okay, I'm seeing pillows. We have child. Okay, child, death, despair, haughtiness. Okay. With this despair energy, I feel like. People could be feeling very like moody or take making something and making it feel like it's the end of the world sort of situation. And that's where we have to have our moderation. That's where we have to have our patience. This could be you or someone next to you feeling like going into like depression. OK, going into this feeling of like, why is this happening to me? They need a break. If this reminds you of someone, you may need to call them, reach out to them, talk to them, check on your friends. OK, we do not know what these people are going through. And and see like what is their love language maybe it's just listening to them without offering advice okay um maybe it's you know cooking for them getting something sweet for them delivering something to them okay sharing your time with them okay some people could feel i feel like with this energy like a part of your inner child that was lost wants to be recovered. It feels sad. This could be like you used to like to do something when you were a child. You haven't done it in a long time. And now you want to do it not for mo monetary reasons, not for money, but just for fun. Okay. And then we have haughtiness. This energy of not being too prideful. Don't be too prideful to check on your friends. Don't be too prideful to tell someone what you're really going through. Don't say you're fine when you're not. Do not say that. Oh, how is you doing? You'll be like, I'm fine. And really inside, it's like a lot of things bubbling up, a lot of things coming up that needs to be kind of released. Okay. Um, ooh, you got to have patience with the process. Patience with the process. Okay. I don't know who needs to hear this right now, but you are a boss. You are a leader. I don't know if it's because we have all this energy that was in Capricorn. Okay. As well. But with this king energy, it's like someone gaining more confidence in themselves and their projects and their creativity and what they built for themselves, what they built for their family. OK. And I see. Oh, we got the six of cups, the empress. Yes. Well, we're not seeing our abundance, our worth that maybe, you know, we've been kind of settling for less. We're worth a lot more than we think. We're worth a lot more than we've been putting ourselves out there for. We have the Empress card. What we're not seeing is that we need to be open to receive, okay? The Empress, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Nine of Pentacles, these cards are all very 
like related. I see them as all very, very related, okay? And this is the energy of earth goddess, earth angels, okay? Of uh, that maternal energy, mothering ourselves, nurturing ourselves, giving ourselves what we need. When we have it with the six of cups. We could also not be seeing how childhood emotions or childhood traumas have impacted us in the present okay some people also going to be um seeing people from the past okay or talking to people from the past could be someone you haven't talked to in a long time a friend acquaintance um your mama's friend um some of you guys it could be your ex as well because we are still in the retrograde season bottom of the deck six of Wands, and we got this last time I went live for what we're not seeing. So I feel like we're not seeing how we're going to be coming out on top, how we're going to be um, victorious, that we're going to be going places. People are going to be seeing us in awe, inspired by us, by the Empress energy. Okay. I also feel like this is a mother with like two kids, okay, or a mother with. Your kids like your kids look up to you, okay? Your kids learn from you. They learn what you do, not exactly sometimes what you be saying, okay? As well. Ooh. Yes, this is a collective reading, a collective reading. I'm not getting into the signs. I'm not doing too much, honey, okay? Um because of the fact that this is just a quick Instagram live. Okay, I will be saving it. I do not have internet, but if I get some, I will post it on YouTube. No promises. Ooh, okay. We got beauty ritual and music. Okay, some of us here need to get our nails done. Need to get our lashes done. Oh my God. Maybe you want to change up your lipstick color, okay? Spirit is yelling at me, okay? With this energy, we need to make sure we're still taking care of ourselves like the empress that we are, okay? Like we the queen of pentacles that we are. When we look good on the outside, we're going to be feeling good on the inside. You know when you get your fresh set? You know when you get a fresh set? It's just another energy. It's another level to that fresh set. I don't have it right now, but... Once I open all these freaking boxes, I'm going to go get my nails done, okay? And we also have music. So maybe we could be listening to music throughout the day. Your ancestors' music, oldies, is goodies, baby, okay? Some of you guys making music. Maybe you're going to be getting into sacred sound healing, okay? Um, playing music for yourself for meditation. And we have intuition, which is how I started the reading, saying that we're going to be getting a lot of intuitive, intuitive downloads that this reading... Our aura is about the third eye strengthening this new moon, giving us more intuition, more divine downloads. And this is from our higher self, our ascended self, the galactic guides, the Pleiadians, okay? All of the star seed type things, also like anything like that, because we have that Aquarius energy, okay? It's really extraterrestrial. I'm gonna pull one more cord. From this deck i love it okay someone sent this to me um and i'm so grateful because it's like such a cute deck i love it so much the hip-hop queens let's see who we get this week who is our energy because we got music so maybe we, maybe we need to listen to a song from one of the artists i'm gonna pull maybe there's a message very mystical especially with this new moon happening at a pisces degree okay pisces the most intuitive sign in the zodiac we got spinderella transition and sister soja power okay this is us transitioning to our highest power our highest good we could be feeling like we're not exactly where we want to be yet we're still in the transition we're still in the transformation of it but we're calling back our power calling back our power that's that protection from any freaking energetic vampires all of that we're calling back our power we're only giving our attention pay paying paying attention to things that benefit us not energy vampires not things that are going to be sucking the energy out of you okay sister soldier i feel like she has very powerful words okay so also 
check out Sister Soldier. Check check them out, okay? As well. My loves, thank you for tapping in. Okay, please come back, like this video. Thank you for the badges. I truly appreciate it. Okay, S speaking abundance, infinity fold over your life. Okay, if you are called to cut a cord with me for two two twenty two, that's happening on Mars Day. Okay, Tuesday. So here's what on my website, the energy exchange is twelve dollars and twelve cents. Something like that. Oh no, I don't know. I think it's twelve dollars and twenty two cents, something like this. Okay. <laughs> On my website, BigEmpressEnergyLLC.com. I'm working on getting the internet, okay? And then once I'm back, we're going to be back on YouTube. I'm going to get back on my private readings. If I owe you a reading, you'll get it by February 10th. There's only like four people, okay? Um, but thank you. I will do them as soon as I can. I'm going to unpack. I'm going to get my life together. And you could do it soon. Sending you guys blessings. Bye.